Hello, this is Marcus from uh, Sons of Osiris, and in this uh, video I will briefly introduce, first of all, myself, and secondly, and most of all, what is Sons of Osiris project all about? As you can see, I am filming this video outside, because it's just too hot in my apartment, some 33 degrees at the moment, so pfft, I'm fleeing. First of all, myself. Uh, well, uh, I'm just some guy from Finland who wants to make heavy metal music. And that's it. I've been into heavy metal since I was uh, some 12 years old. And for me heavy metal is... It's, it's more than music. It's more like a love, war and lifestyle at the same time. It empowers the self, gives you a sense of freedom, criticizes, seeks and destroys, liberates. But it also makes me, at least, feel um, much more safer, warmer and, and confident in my life. Also more focused and clarified. When I was 20 years old, I realized that since heavy metal had given me so much, I wanted to give something back. And because I consider myself quite a creative and at least an ambitious person, I wanted to have a mark of my own in the history of heavy metal. Then I started to take guitar lessons from my sensei Mikko Salovara, if you haven't heard about him, check his band Kiwas as soon as possible. During those lessons I learned about uh, what kind of heavy metal I'm capable of playing and, and what kind of heavy metal I want to see to be created in the future. Master of Theology. Yes, I'm, I'm not at all confessional. I'm a scientist without taking any confessional viewpoints, except uh, if, if, if we consider science to be a one, one, one viewpoint of confessions. That's my profession has taken me more and more deeply into the fields of Nordic folk religion. I wanted to find something different. And my heart took myself one summer, some 10 years ago, to history of ancient Egypt. And so, the light of Ra was enlightened. And so I went through the general Oxford studies of ancient Egypt history, and particularly focusing on the religious aspects of it. For example, David Silverman's uh, findings in the mindset, mindset of, of a Sith. Why are you still haunting me? Yes, yes. Um, then I learned myself to read the Middle Egyptian hieroglyphs, which is quite fun, to be honest, to transcribe and translate coughing text straightly yourself without, without any, any others between you and the written Egyptian material. <laughs> I have a five-year project, and aim, and goal, which will be a hard road, full of dedication, hard work, and ambition, I know, I know, but that's just my game. Well, I'm aiming to create five homemade singles, with which I will try to hunt for a recording deal. And if something like that comes in my way in some five to ten years, then we'll sit down with my sensei, then create an album, have some live concerts, and uh, conquer the world, and, and, and last of all, to restore the ancient Kemetian kingdom. 
So the future looks bright.